Hello, my name is Cecilia and this is The No. King Charles has delivered the first King's speech in over 70 years. Keep watching to find out more. He made his way to the House of Lords in the Diamond Jubilee State Coach, in a procession led by the King's Guard. Republican protesters booed and chanted, Not My King, as the procession arrived in Parliament Square. Wearing his ceremonial robes and imperial state crown, King Charles delivered his speech to a packed House of Lords filled with politicians. In his opening remarks, the King paid tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth II. My Lords and members of the House of Commons, it is mindful of a legacy of service and devotion to this country set by my beloved mother, the late Queen, that I deliver this, the first King's speech, in over 70 years. The new session of Parliament is expected to be the last before the next general election, which has to take place by January 2025. Even though it is called the King's speech, Charles is not responsible for drawing up the list himself and is reading out what has been written for him by the government. Measures included in the speech were the new smoking laws that will see cigarette sales gradually banned, judges being given extra powers to force criminals to attend their sentencing hearings, and oil licensing to be awarded annually. My government will introduce legislation to create a smoke-free generation by restricting the sale of tobacco so that children currently aged 14 or younger can never be sold cigarettes and restricting the sale and marketing of e-cigarettes to children. Legislation will be introduced to strengthen the United Kingdom's energy security and reduce reliance on volatile international energy markets and hostile foreign regimes. This bill will support the future licensing of new oil and gas fields helping the country to transition to net zero by 2050 without adding undue burdens on households. The proposed laws and measures are being seen as the government's election battle lines as they prepare for the upcoming general election. Shadow Justice Secretary Shabana Mahmood said, What further proof do we need that the Tories have completely run out of ideas than witnessing them using the most significant event in the parliamentary calendar to simply repackage ideas they have announced multiple times. There's no use posturing on law and order when the criminal justice system is crumbling under the government's feet after 13 years of mismanagement. The Mirror's Kevin Maguire reacted to King Charles's speech. This is a government running out of steam. It's quite clear you could pass all this legislation before Christmas. Well, the election's probably next until next November. And in the meantime, Britain just won't be run properly. It was a big wasted opportunity by, by the government. No wonder Charles sounded bored. He's waited years, decades to get the job from his mum. He gets it and then he's asked to deliver a load of drivel. Thank you for watching The No. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more daily news updates.